Hello, this is part two for the triple four numbers. So <clears throat> I was up to Ezekiel 12, verses 3 to 4. Therefore, son of man, note this is a second confirmation, your son was being led to Strong's triple four mankind definition. Pack your belongings, is underlined, for exile <clears throat> and in the daytime as they watch. Set out and go from where you are to another place. Perhaps they will understand, though they are a rebellious people. During the daytime, while they watch, bring out your belongings packed for exile. Then in the evening, while they are watching, go out like those who go into exile. The King James Version uses the word stuff in these verses. I have used NIV above. And um, <clears throat> from my personal notes in 2017, I had um, it was two dreams. The first dream was of men, men who stormed into our apartment, urgently telling us to get our things together because it was time to go. So we madly rushed around packing our bags, but clearly we were not ready or prepared. And the second dream I had was of a warehouse moving relocation <clears throat> dream. Um, and the sister, she commented that this is also actually a pretty big confirmation of yet another subject we are looking at, at, so thank you for leading us to this as well. The Lord then said to combine 3 plus 4 <clears throat> plus 12, which equals 19. 19 in Greek is intrinsic goodness, especially as a personal quality with stress on the kindly rather than the righteous side of goodness. <clears throat> and sister says, I only landed on this Strong's number 48 hours ago and sent it to brother, so this is a second confirmation on that as well. I do love how everything intertwines. The Lord is the best mathematician and confirmer. The number four signifies creation in the Bible. The creation of the sun and the moon and the stars starts in Genesis 1.14. When I see the ones and fours together, it's a sign for me to dig deeper. Genesis 1.14 reads, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. This is to do with time. The fourth of the Ten Commandments commandments is to uphold the Sabbath. So I feel this is relating to time, rest and Sabbath together. If you've been wondering whether or not to observe the Sabbath, this might be leading you to your answer. Just another interesting point is that the fourth book of the Bible is Numbers. Numbers 444. Even those that were numbered of them after their families were 3,200. Funny, it's pointing to numbers yet again. The Lord indicated it is the 32. So Greek in 32 in Greek means a messenger, generally a supernatural messenger from God, an angel conveying news or be behests from God to men. Aglelos can refer to a human messenger as well. And um, I always remember this because <clears throat> my friend Pat Forrester, I learned this from her as well, that um, angel can be messenger or it can mean a human messenger as well. So to summarize, Sister wrote, these are the days where certain ones are being unveiled, uncovered, where messages from God are working through them in a supernatural way just as he has provided an example of right here with bringing us together to work on this. So um, <clears throat> aspects of the summary are taken from what um, she was led to above. So um, you might need to go over this again if you like. Um, if you like me, numbers, lots and lots of numbers kind of, as I said to sister, makes my eyes glaze over. So you can reread it and see what what uh, Holy Spirit brings to you and let me know if you get anything else. So that's it for the numbers four and triple four. Hope this is blesses you in Jesus' name.